Hello, welcome. How are you, Zarina? Oh, thank you. I'm good. I'm pretty good. Thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Well done. Being an early bird. You. Say that again. Um, I didn't send anything. Yet. Oh, yeah. I thought you said you. I thought you asked you. something. Ah, uh, no, no. Oh. <laughs> fine i'm hearing things going delirious on my saturday morning have you had a busy week um not really i i was at home the whole, whole week almost uh, oh, lovely. From home. nice to work from home isn't it i do find uh, getting out is good as well though <laughs> yeah yeah and I'm, I'm not such a fan from uh, working for always are you not yeah. it's hard to compartmentalize your life isn't it i think yeah yeah and get away from work if you bring it home so yeah, I completely I to, understand that. I start to work late at night because, uh, and then I'm not so effective. I th I find it not so effective when I'm yeah, working. yeah, not in the zone, are you? Uh, no. Not in the right zone. Um, I understand that. I appreciate that. Well, well done for doing more work. I'm assuming you're at home now. I'm at home. Now. <laughs> you're doing more work from home, doing this call. So well done. <laughs> Great job. Great job. Just seeing if anyone else is coming in. They should be. Kira. Kira. Where is everybody? Oh, yeah, they come. They come thick and fast. There we go. Bang on the dot. That's what I like to see. Mm -mm. Could you hear that music playing at the beginning, by the way? No. No. Okay. I... Brilliant. Hi, everyone. Hey. Oh, I've just eaten a lozenge and it's very sweet and I'm, it's very taut. So forgive me pulling my sour face. Oh, that's really caught me off guard. Um, Lovely. In you all come. In you all come. Joining in. Welcome. Good to see all your faces. Oh, Regina, is this your new mansion that you live in? <laughs> <laughs> no it's just the picture unfortunately <laughs> manifesting it I love it <laughs> I've blurred my background today because it's just carnage in my house um I feel like that's a common theme for me of late my life just being chaos um but it's an adventure isn't it that's what we all we all enjoy um the adventure that is life fabulous so you might have all noticed I have popped in the telegram some tongue twisters and some phrases. Now, all the phrases I've put in the telegram are ones that I have talked about in that other group chat where I've talked about, um, where have I put them now? Uh, you know, things in my life, like feeling under the weather, miserable weather. We're going to practice all of that later on today. That's what we're going to look at today. Um, just common phrases and have a little bit more of a practice, get in those kind of common phrases into conversation and articulated as British as we can make them. And of course we have got tongue twisters as well. And what I'll do is I will just copy the tongue twisters that we're doing today in this group chat as well. So you can find them on there. Um, and I'll do the, the phrases <clears throat> afterwards as well. But as usual, we are going to start with a little warm up because that's the best thing we can do to wake ourselves up. So um, I am sat down. I am in my little office. So you can stay seated. If you do want to stand, though, feel free. Wake up those hips a little bit more and those legs. Um, We're going to crack on. We are going to sit upright, legs wide apart. Let's really like plant ourselves firmly and rooted. Um, Just give yourselves a little check in with your feet. First of all, I haven't really done this with you guys yet. Um. But I, I think you'll agree. There's something earthy about being British, I think. There's like a some sort of grounded earthiness that we have in the UK, and I love it. And so I often talk about grounding yourself um, in my acting coaching, and I think it's going to really help with your accent work because, like I've said before in the past, sometimes we get a bit het up, we get tense when we can't get things right. So if we can ground ourselves and chill out and ease off of these things physically, it's going to help us mentally. So just check in with your feet. Give your toes a little wiggle and almost maybe pinch the floor a little bit with your toes. And really 
push those feet into the ground. You might feel your thighs activate a little bit. Get those heels and the balls of your feet pushed into the floor. Good, and remember to breathe. <laughs> What's your feet got anything to do with accent work? I know it's silly, isn't it? But it, it does, it does affect it. And put your hands on your legs. Give your thighs a little rub. <laughs> Wake up those hands. Maybe give your hands a little rub in, in, in front of your face as well. Good. Just going to warm up those hands. Take a nice deep breath. And I just want us to go straight in for a jaw release, okay? While those feet are firmly planted, we're just going to do some nice exhales. Using that meaty part of our lovely now warm hands. We're just going to release that jaw. Keeping that sensation of those feet nice and rooted in the ground. We're just going to introduce a little bit more release up top and a little bit more activity down below. Good. And then rest those hands on your legs and just have that jaw hang free for a bit. Yeah, why not? Maybe give your head a little shake, a little wiggle if you want to. Let that jaw flop around. Good. <laughs> Feels weird, doesn't it? Good. And just close your eyes for me for a moment. You can let your jaw come back to neutral now so you don't have to hang there floppy jawed. But we're just going to keep this active body language and we're just going to close our eyes and take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. And just return your breath to normal and just start to see if you can feel where your breath is working. Can you feel your belly inflate, your back inflate maybe, your ribs, your shoulders lift? Just explore and see what is working when you breathe in and when you breathe out. We're not trying to achieve anything here. We're just simply acknowledging what our body is doing to help us breathe. Lovely, everyone. And take a nice deep inhalation in through the nose. And out through the mouth. We'll open those eyes and we're gonna do another deep breath. And this time we're gonna bring those shoulders up to our ears. In and out, shoulder blades back and down. Good. One more time, breathing in, lifting those shoulders. And down and out. Really imagine that those shoulders are really pulling up and imagine those hands are stretching towards the floor now as well, anchoring and pulling towards the ground. Hold that breath and release. Good, and use that out breath like I always say, you'll hear me going or shooting it out. Really get that diaphragm working. So again, shoulders up, breath in and down and out lovely this time we're going to bring the elbows up breathing in and down and out let those arms extend down to the floor again lovely and in and and then elbows keep with the elbows for a few breaths this should feel contrived i want it to And it might be hard wherever you're sat, but now don't try not to hit your desk, but let's bring those arms up. And wide back and down. Have a little shake at the bottom. And a couple normal breaths, good. All the while, make sure those feet are firmly planted in the ground. Let's do one more big one. Arms up, breathing in, shoulders up, stretching and releasing. Down, very good, have a little shake, a few normal breaths. Lovely, jubbly, now we're gonna reach up. And imagine that your hips are really heavy and they're squashing the chair and you're engaging your core, but your shoulders and your arms and your fingertips, everything reaching up. Take a nice deep breath in, feel that rib cage expand and lift. Hold it and release, good. One more time, hips really heavy, feet anchored into the ground, but everything else is reaching up out of those hips. Big breath in, hold it, reach a bit more, more than you think. Take a deeper breath in, more than you think. And release. Yeah. 
<laughs> I can feel the pain in some of your faces. It's good. It's uncomfortable. It's what I want to see. We're just waking ourselves up and doing something that we haven't done today or this week already. So well done. Have a little shake out. Very good. We're going to do some of those lovely Tony Robbins breaths that I love that we did the last session where we got our hands sprayed. We're going to reach up and we're going to very simply do a short, sharp out breath as we pull down like so. And we're going to use that sound like we're telling someone very loudly in a library to shush. OK, so we're going to do that one more time. Breathing in. Down. Nice and slow for now. Breathing in. Good. Keep going in your own time while I just let someone else into the room. Good. Shh. Breathing in. Shh. And try and sink that inhalation nice and slow. Inhale as we reach up and a short, sharp. Shh. Good. So breathing in. Shh. And a little bit quicker for me now. Let's go. Shh. Shh. Feel the burn Shh. in the shoulders. Shh. 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 Three more. Good, everyone. One more. Ah, lovely. Your shoulders should be nice and warm now. Have a little shake. Let your breath return to normal. And if you want to just loosen up that <coughs> seated posture we have, if you want to bring your knees in a little bit wider now, we can come back to neutral a little bit more. So good. Well done. Have a little shake. Now we're just going to drop our chin to our chest. Remember to breathe. And we're just going to feel that stretch down the back of our neck, okay? And... What I'm going to encourage you to do, we're just going to do a little half spinal roll. We're going to come to chin to chest, and then we're also going to allow the weight of our head to roll forward. And vertebrae by vertebrae, I just want you to kind of come forward like you're really hunching over, making a question mark shape, okay? And I just want you to, again, explore. You're probably going to feel a little bit tight here. Have a little wiggle, play around with breathing into any knots that you might feel or any tightness. And just check in with yourself, okay? So we're just hanging heavy. Again, keeping those hips nice and heavy and strong. A strong foundation for us to work in and work from. We're just stretching out that back. Lovely. Take a nice deep breath in. Think of expanding that spine as you inhale. And as you exhale, restack the spine vertebrae by vertebrae and come back to a nice upright neutral posture, lovely. Then I want you to lift your chin a little bit and we're gonna let those shoulders pull back and like an angel being pulled back to heaven, we're gonna imagine we're being lifted towards the sky or the corner of the room and relax back to neutral. Good. So again, all I'm doing guys is just waking up those chests a little bit more and getting that blood flow and your back a little bit more mobile before we begin our work. It's really useful just to connect to our breath and our bodies a little bit more. Good. Now on to the fun face stuff. We're going to do our face work. Okay. Face work. <laughs> I love that. Brilliant. So let's do it. We're going to start with tongue boot camp. We're going to get that blood flowing a little bit more now. I want us to do six circles in one direction with our tongue, just like so. Six in the other, then five in the other direction. Five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Okay. In your own time, remember to breathe, feel the burn. And don't think that you need to lock your lips shut as well. If they need to open, it's fine. Good, everyone. Breathe. Keep going and I'm just going to say, I know this stuff is boring, I know it's effort, I know it requires concentration, but this is all the kind of stuff we need to practice to be hyper aware of what we're doing with our mouths when we're trying to be uh, or perfect our British accents, right? So again, it's all really useful foundational work to help us in the fun work later on. Good job. Remember to breathe. So good to see all of your faces. Remember, if you're feeling an ache anywhere, that's a good sign. It's a sign we're releasing tension. Stick with it. Don't cheat yourself. Make sure you get to the end. Well done. Don't quit. I'm not counting. You're counting. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know if you've fallen short keep going well done everyone i think a few more of you are still going good job Good job, Violetta. I can see you doing very well. Many left? <laughs> very good. If you have finished, give yourself a little stretch in the neck. Maybe give yourself a little massage at the back of the head. I always feel it back there, which is interesting, isn't it? Our tongue is here, but actually when we carry tongue tension, it's going to affect the back of our head as well. So it's it, our muscles, our bodies are so intertwined and interlinked. It's fascinating. So just give everything a little, a little gentle poke if you need to get those thumbs underneath the tongue. If you are going underneath the tongue, remember to just try and keep everything loose. We're not clenching the jaw as we do that. We want to massage a loose, happy muscle. Oh, hello, kitty cat. Maria's kitty cat's joining in. Good. Lovely. Come to a neutral position for me. So just let the tongue hang heavy in the mouth. Mouth open slightly. Let the tip of the tongue rest behind the bottom teeth at the front of the mouth. And all we're going to do is our lovely little portrait uh, demonstration and visual. So imagine just for three reps, active, active, active release. We're just showing a lovely post-it note or portrait at the back of our tongues to our Zoom cameras. So just nice and slowly, we're going to go like so. Uh, 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 release. Yeah, uh, 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 release. Remember to breathe. Release. Oh, I can really feel that today. One more time. Good. Now we're going to do the other way round. So the tip of the tongue behind the top of the teeth, this one's a little bit trickier, I find. Like the portrait is under the bottom of our tongue now, we're going to try and uh, get our tongue to do this action. <laughs> that makes sense. So cooking under the top teeth, pulling through this way now. So again, in your own time, three, then release. Let's have a go. Much harder, isn't it? Good, everyone. Really try and get the back of the tongue forward. <laughs> One more time. Oh, lovely, everyone. Good, have a little shake off. Maybe give yourself a little jaw release if you want to. <sighs> and now my favorite, you're welcome. Tongue hook, here we go. Hook in the tip of our tongue, we're pulling it out. No voice for now, so just silent on breath. Use the hands, get active, wake up the whole face. Uh -huh. Crazy eyes, give me crazy eyes, yeah. Ah, go. Oh my God. <laughs> Um, okay, gently on voice now. Ah, make some sounds. Ah, ah, ah. Keeping you on your toes, we're going down again. Brilliant, well done, I'm rest. Dribble everywhere. How disgusting. Love it. Brilliant. Well done. Oh, good. Let's give ourselves a little shake now. Yes, exactly. That was beautiful, Polina. Um, I want you to let your jaw hang heavy. I'm like a wet dog. I want you to imagine that you're shaking off after you've just been swimming in a pool. Yeah. And if you want to add some sound into that, go for it. Excellent. Like a dog sticking their head out the window. Lapping it up. Love it. Well done, everyone. That's a good little shake out and release. And now what we're going to do, it makes me laugh, this stuff. It really does make me laugh. Um, and I love how open you are all to it. It's fabulous to see. We're going to do some puckering and smiling. So puckering those lips and smiling. Big grin, Colgate toothpaste grin. Hi, bye Colgate. Pucker. And let's make it an angry pucker, actually. I'm really annoyed, like a stroppy child. <laughs> but then we're happy again and everything's great. Puka. Smile. Puka. Hmm. Smile. Ha. Ah. 
Ah, let's introduce those sounds. So on the pucker, let's go a, let's go for a, mm, like a little sob, like a mm, stroppy child. Try that in your own way. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Good. And then with a the smile, ah, everything's roses. Ah, ah, lovely. Yeah, if you want to get more in your body, that's great. Stroppy child. Mm, mm, mm. Smile, pucker, mm, stroppy child, mm, and smile. One more time, Pippa eating a lozenger face. Ooh, really and then smiling again. <laughs> Lovely, well done, everybody. Let's give a little shake out to those lips now as well. And those chins, just the fingertips. Remember to breathe. And at the end of all these exercises, I do always naturally tend to just kind of go, I let it go. Try and let it just go. You've done it. You've done the work. You can release now. Okay, so good. Well done, everybody. Let's wake up the voice a little bit more now. So just a very gentle siren, that NG sound, if you're not familiar with it. It's just the NG sound at the end of sing or ding. We're just going to stay in that position and very gently, a level three out of 10 on the effort scale. Just change the pitch and float around. Sing. Can you all hear that, what I'm doing? Just realized I haven't plugged my microphone in, but you can hear that. Okay, good. Um, That's all we're going to do. Just play around with the pitch variation, not trying to go too high or too low. We're just getting our vocal folds nice and elasticated before we work with actual words. Okay, so good. Let's just have a play. Nice and slow, nice and gentle, nice and quiet in your own time. Sing. Sing. Good, lovely. Now we're just gonna close our lips on that sound. So we shouldn't have had our lips. I don't think I saw anyone with their lips shut at that time. Um, I, I was fiddling with my microphone, forgive me. Um, we're just gonna close the lips. So we're gonna keep that same setup at the back of the throat, the sing sound. And we're gonna keep the sound going, but we're just gonna close the lips to make it a hum, okay? And really try and feel that vibration on your lips. If you want to give them a little pat or a little wake up, feel free. But we're just changing the pitch variation again, just to wake up those vocal folds and feel that resonance going on. So let's have a go. Sing. And you might find certain pitches feel more vibratory around your lips. So again, feel free to stay around there a little bit if it feels good or you're enjoying that. Sing. Lovely, everyone. Well done. Now we're going to do the same thing and except we're going to open it up into an R. So again, we're not trying to be particularly loud. We're just waking up our voice and saying hello to our beautiful voices on this lovely Saturday. So we're going to do the same thing. Sing. Find a pitch you're comfortable on. And just open it out and imagine that sound is just releasing and moving forward and up and out of your beautiful face. Okay. So, in your own time, we'll just do that a few times. No rush. Take your time. Enjoy it. Sing. You can match my pitch if you want to, whatever you'd like to do, or find your own. Sing. Sing. Ah. Don't be afraid, you can do it. Ah. Feel that voice, lovely. <laughs> we'll do it one more time. And this time, I just want to add an extra visual in there. We often think that sound comes out of our mouth. Of course it does. That's where the articulators are formed. But a bit like, you know, when a cat's had an operation and they've got that cone around their head. I want you to all imagine you're a cat that's just had an operation with a cone around your head. And I want you to imagine that sound is coming from your throat and actually kind of coming out of you and like a satellite dish 
coming out at 360 degrees all around you and just have a play. Again, it doesn't have to be loud, but I just want you to visualize sending the sound in all directions and all around you. This is just a really great um, exercise for taking up space and finding your voice and just experimenting with how your voice can travel essentially. Okay, so in your own time, take a, take a hum, find the pitch you enjoy, and then open it to that R. And if you want to demonstrate or close your eyes, like feel free to explore that. Let's just have a go together. One more time. Interesting. Did you discover anything different? I don't know. But again, when you're working on your accents and your voice work, really get used to owning your voice and coming onto your voice properly. Lisa, like I spoke to you in some of your videos, we want to bring that voice forward and we want it to come out of us. We don't want to pull back on it. Okay. So all these exercises help us find the strength in our voices. So lovely. Well done, everyone. Let's do some butter in the toast with our budgers and goodabers. Um, I think all of you have done this already, but if not, I'll just demonstrate. In fact, let me copy and paste it into the chat again, just so you've all got a very clear visual phonetically that I've written down for you. So very simply and slowly in rhythm, a nice staccato beat. We're going to make a B sound followed by a D sound followed by a G sound. And we're going to do it three, four times. Let's do it, shall we actually? Let's do four. Ignore that I put three there. So very slowly to my rhythm, let's go. B, D, G. B, D, G. Wait. B, D, G. Wait. B, D, G, done. Everyone do that? Everyone got that? Yeah? Excellent. We're going to reverse it and we're going to go from now a G to a D to a B. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. G, D, B, wait. G, D, B, G, D, B, G, D, B. Well done. Does everyone get what we're doing there? Any, any questions? Everyone groovy? Excellent. Let's pick up the pace a little bit, people. We're gonna go but da ga, but da ga, but da ga, but da ga. Then we're gonna go ga da ba four times. Um, and we're gonna do it a little bit quicker, okay? Five, six, seven, eight. Ba da ga, ba da ga, ba da ga, ba da ga. Reverse it. Ga da ba, ga da. B, g, d, b. One more, g, d, b. Well done. Everyone get that? Everyone got that okay? Oh, there's someone in the waiting room. Well done, everyone. Um, And now we're going to just bring them together a little bit. And like we're buttering a slice of toast, we're going to come backwards and then forwards, backwards and then forwards. Um, So I'll just demonstrate really quickly for you. We're going to go b, d, g, g, d, b, b, d, g, g, d, b. Take little inhalations as and when you need to. You don't have to do it all in one breath. And we're not going to have that weight this time. So before we were going, ba, da, ga, wait, ba, da, ga, wait. We're not doing that. We are just going to go straight in like smooth, like butter. Um, We're just going to go through it. So again, I'll do it relatively fast because I think you're all ready for it. Um, but please do take it at your own pace if you want to. OK, so um, I won't count this time, but I am going to do the buttering action, which might help you as well if you want to practice that. So when I'm doing starting at the front, I'm buttering the front of the toast, but I'm bringing it back. And then on the good, we're going forward. Do you see what I'm doing there with my actions? Again, visualizing what we're doing in our faces. Um, so in your own time or with me, let's have a little go. Buttergur. Everyone got that? Everyone do everyone do okay? Good. And we want to, in fact, if you want to try it really quickly now, let's have a little bit of free time where you can practice it really quickly, like you might actually find it easier that way. Um, but I I don't know. Have a little try. See if you want to do it a little bit quicker in your own time, if you can kind of have a little play <laughs> bit of fun bit of fun bloom and love it good let's do the voiceless version then so that was voiced we're going to do unvoiced now so you might not be able to hear me very clearly um but rather than going pa we're not adding any voice it's very simply a p, p, t, k, 
like we're doing a whisper. So we're going to do a P, a T, a K, a K, a T, and a P. And we're going to go a bit quicker because we have done it on voice. Um, so let's just jump straight in, actually, to... In fact, no, let's start with Putika, Putika, Putika. Putika, Putika, Putika. Let's change the rhythm a little bit. So we're just going to do threes this time, okay? Does this all make sense? I know I'm moving a little bit quicker. No. <laughs> We've got a very clear head shake from Regina. Brilliant. So let's do it slowly to begin with. We're just going to go one direction okay so one more time got that regina good everyone else good legends let's do it again we're going to go backwards this time, or forwards this time the other way around so we're going to start with the k nice and slowly same rhythm as me i did it wrong One more time. Yeah, got it? And it's okay to make mistakes, guys. I make mistakes all the time, as you just witnessed. Um, just come back to it. We did a bonus one there because I'm, I fudged it up. Um, good, so now we're just gonna do the same thing like we did before, like butter. And we're gonna keep it nice and slow and we're not gonna have that beat weight this time, okay? So follow my lead. If you, you should be able to see, even if you can't hear me with the softness of the sound, you can see what I'm doing, okay? So let's just give it a go. One more. Good. Everyone got that? Excellent. Let's have a little quick free go if you want to do it a little bit quicker. Have a little play around. A bit like chopping board that. Yeah, it's amazing. Great fun. Did you notice that your diaphragm was working a little bit harder on the voice list versions? Yeah, because we haven't got the voice to add any vibration. We're trying to almost try harder to get the sound out to begin with. So all these voiceless sounds require this thing, these beautiful ribs down here to work. OK, so um, lean into that and use it if you need to. Well done. Let's do chopping board then. Uh, you can stand up for this or say sat down. Um, follow my lead. Copy and uh, copy and paste what I'm doing. We're at a chopping board. We are getting our bodies involved. And remember, I will change the vowel sound. So look at what I'm doing as well. If you need to, if you can't hear me at any point, um, let's just do it, shall we? Ba, 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 ba. B, 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 B. Boo, 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 boo. Oh yeah, we're going thick and fast today. Love it. La, 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 la. Li, 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 li. Lu, 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 lu. Mama, 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 me, 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 wa, 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 we, 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 woo, 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 voiceless, a T sound now, tiny little carrots we're chopping up here, T, 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 T. Good. Va, 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 va. Vi, 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 vi. Vu, 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 vu. Good. So again, just to reiterate, if I'm doing this kind of shape, we've got an oo sound. Va, ah, jaw release, bigger, bigger mouth. Um, And at e, I'm going wider. So they're the only three vowel sounds that I'm using, okay? So again, if you can't hear me, you can see what I'm doing. Vu, 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 vu. Vi, 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 vi. Va, 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 va. Ah, it's quite obvious. Okay, so good. Just try and get that in for me as well. Let's keep going with a D. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. D d d d. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Ga 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 ga. Gi 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 gi. Back of the throat. Good. Goo 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 goo. <laughs> Lovely work, everyone. A Z now, shall we try? Z z z z. Zoo 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 zoo. Za 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 za. 
Lovely. N for November. No, 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 no. <laughs> na, 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 na. Ni, 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 ni. A P for Pippa now. Pa, 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 pa. A, a curly K, the voiceless version of a G. A couple more, well done. Ma, 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 ma. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Good. I feel like there's a vowel sound that we haven't done or a consonant sound that we haven't done yet. Da, ta, T. Let's just do a T again. I like T's. Ta, 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 ta. Like a little tiny drum. Ta, 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 ta. Lovely. Let's just do a W because I love W so much. Wah, 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 wah. Wee, 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 wee. Woo, 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 woo. And take a bow. You are all wonderful. The crowd goes wild. Let's take a seat. And start some tongue twisters, shall we? Well done, everyone. Love and life. Um, so I have put in the chat uh, the tongue twisters for this week. You will notice some of them are a little bit longer than the previous ones we've been doing. That's because I'm pushing you and making you concentrate even harder and making sure that we get that stamina in so we don't get lazy towards the end of sentences and bring our old accents back. We want to keep British the whole sentence, don't we, darling? So good. We're going to go through together. I will call and respond. And last time I got you all to do the same one, but I do think it's better if you just come with me with like the one you want to do and work on with me. So if you're finding ones really difficult, there'll be a chance straight after to work one-on-one -on -one with me and just perfect it as best we can. Um, even though perfection isn't the, isn't the goal, uh, it's, it's progress, isn't it? Yes, that's what I say. Um, lovely. So let's just have a little slow go together. Remember for now, hyper articulate. We're not trying to rush this. Do exactly what I do. If you have got a bone prop and you want to pop it in, now is also a good time to do that if you want to, but you don't have to. Uh, let's have a go. Very fluffy velvet. <clears throat> Excellent. And I am watching you. So do have your cameras on and it's really helpful for me to see. So, um, yeah, know that I am watching you as you go between uh, each tongue twister. Well done. Good. Um, let's carry on. A white witch watched a woolly walrus. Excellent. Well done. Try and sit upright for me, guys, as well. I know it's really easy to be slouched at your desk, but try and stay active for me. It will help you. Trust me, if we're slouched over and doing this, how are we ever going to possibly learn to articulate British very well? We're not going to. Let's keep upright. Well done. Um, with these longer ones as well, let me get through the whole of them before you give it a go. Really listen to how they are sounding. Uh, another W for you. Which wizard wished wicked wishes? don't know probably Voldemort isn't it let's be honest um round the rock the ragged rascal runs lovely everyone well done shall I shoot the sheet nice i know some of your favorites coming up now a tutor who tooted the lute tried to tutor to tutors to toot oh yeah give it a go
Good. Try not to judge yourself so harshly as well. If you are doing these for the first time, guys, these are hard. Um, I, I, I'm British. I still find these difficult to do. OK, I'm a trained actor and sometimes I still make mistakes. It's fine. Try not to be too hard on yourself. Lean into the curiosity and the excitement of the unknown. Um, try not to be too mean to yourself at this stage. Well done. Red leather, yellow leather. Beautiful. I bought a box of biscuits, a box of mixed biscuits. Good job. Another favorite of everyone's. Good blood, bad blood. Great. Let's do this. I'll break this one up a little bit, actually. With the longer ones, I might break up. So let's do this bit first together. I slit the sheet. The sheet I slit. Upon the slitted sheet I sit. That's one I got from the Royal Shakespeare Company. Thank you very much. Um, I'm Joan all alone from my head to my toes. Great. Good precision. Well done, not rushing. Great job. Um, this one I'll break up as well. Give me the gift of a grip top sock. You'll go. A clip drape ship shape. You'll go. Tip top sock. Well done, everyone. Let's do that one all together, actually. So I'll I'll demonstrate. And again, keeping it slow, just because it's longer doesn't mean we need to rush through it. It's still a tongue twister. It's still an exercise. And you'll benefit more through working harder and keeping your stamina going. So well done. I'll say it all the way through and you can join in with me or um, do it in your own time. Let's go. Give me the gift of a grip top sock, a clip drape ship shape, tip, top, sock. <laughs> Lovely, everyone. Well done. It's a good one for the brain, that one, because it's, it's just tricky. And finally, T for two or T for ten. Oh, how delightful. Well done, everybody. So those are the tongue twisters for today. Let's have a little bit of one on one time now then. Um, do listen to everybody's notes, um, but also be... Um, be aware enough when maybe a note for one person isn't a note that you need to take notice of. Um, sometimes things are applicable all around and I'll try and highlight those things to everybody as we go. Um, but sometimes it is just for that specific person, just because so-and-so is having trouble there doesn't necessarily mean you are. Uh, so again, be kind to yourself and let's do all of this, uh, go through all of this with a pinch of salt for each person. So let's go. Who wants to go first? Pick a, pick a tongue twister. Zarina was up there first. Uh, yeah. I saw her hand fly up. Um, go on, Zarina, unmute and let's pick one to work on together. Uh, I want to work on which wizard because great. I tend to make it French. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Okay, let's have a go. Um, which wizard wished wicked wishes? Lovely. I didn't hear much much French in there at all. Lovely. One more time for me. Which 
wizard, wished, wicked, wishes. Excellent. Very good. Okay, what I'm going to suggest, this is going to sound a little bit weird. On the I sound, so we've got witch, wizard, wished, wicked. In fact, they're all, aren't they? I. They're quite short I sounds. I'm feeling and seeing, that, or hearing and seeing, that they're, the I sounds are coming quite far forward. I. Actually, I. I is a little bit further back in the throat for my accent, I would say. So rather than which, and that's probably where we're getting a little bit French if we do go French. Yeah. Which, which if we bring the width and the 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 energy back after the w has been started at the front of the mouth i think that might help so can we just try um which 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 wish wished wicked wishes fantastic do you see how everyone how everyone how zarina was using the hands as well to gesture um that's not a choreographed thing that's just something that i felt and now it's helped her access it as well can you try and do it without the hands for me which wizard wished wicked wishes bang in well done oh my gosh boom how did that feel any different yeah i tried to feel it put it backward my Back tongue the throat. <laughs> We're so backwards in England. We're so backwards. And um, there's a lot of stuff that's that kind of comes back here. So what I would say for you moving forward, just to be aware of any sounds or consonants that start at the front of the mouth, like the p and the t even and the um b and the d, was v's f's, all of that sort of thing. Be aware that if it's got like a bit of a thick, what I'd call I'd call that i quite a thick English sound be aware of sending it backwards not to keep it too far forwards because you're starting the word forward so the temptation is to keep all the it forwards but that's not going to help you so yeah just be aware of that and try and get that energy backwards give me the whole tongue twister does that make sense first of all Zarina yeah 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 great give me the whole tongue twister again if you need to use the gestures again it's fine but let's just really try and get that um energy back on the vowel sound for me which wizard wished wicked wishes lovely well done i haven't really got any consonant notes for you so i think that's you done well done thank you <laughs> you're very welcome lovely jubbly um i can see you've started using the hand function on zoom which i love so we'll i'll go with that now natalie natalia um you're up unmute thank you thank you about the favorite one about the tutor <laughs> yeah Go on then. A tutor who tutored the lute tried to tutor to tutors to toot. One more time. A tutor who tutored the lute tried to tutor to tutors to toot. Lovely. Well done. Do you feel like that's improved since last time? I hope so. <laughs> it has. Have you been working on any of those sounds in particular? Yeah, because last week I worked on goose and foot sounds. <laughs> Lovely. Really, really good. Um, yeah, I think that's it's really strong. What I would say is, I think it's, again, this is why I like these longer sentences, guys, because sometimes you start strong and then we, we get tired or we, because we're thinking of yeah. 20 different things, we lose it towards the end. And again, it's a really good sign to, of, of, for me to see where you're at. Yeah, I think just towards the end, we're fading on some of the lovely yods that you'd put in on tutor. It was lovely the first time, but the second tutor, I think lost its clarity a little bit. Um, so let's just do it all again for me. And all I want you to focus on really is the, the second tutor being as crystal clear as the first tutor. Okay? Mm -hmm. Make sense? Okay. Give it another go. I'll try. Good. A tutor who tutored the lute tried to tutor to tutors to toot. And actually, I think the rest fell into place a little bit more then as well. Well done. <laughs> Fantastic. So tutor, tutor. I think because tutor, toot, toot, tutor. Good. Now, what? Uh, can you give me a little lip wriggle? And take a nice breath, out breath. A tutor who tutored the oh, loot. Who's that? It's not me. <laughs> That's not you. Are you a ventriloquist now? <laughs> we just um. If you have just joined, I don't know who just joined. Forgive me. I'm trying to like. I'm John. Once. All um, alone. 
Who is that? I can't see everyone. If you, um, who is that? Does anyone know who that is? If you can mute two microphones, we're just working one on one at a time. I'm just working with Natalia. Um, so just mute your microphones if you are giving it another little go. Good. Give it a wiggle, Natalia. Lovely. When we come tutor, I don't want too much of this. So I want us to practice coming to release again. So a tutor who tooted the lute. Can we break it up that crystal clear? And can we try and loosen our lips off a little bit between phrases? Does that make sense? A tutor who tooted the lute. Even slower. A tutor. Neutral, who tutored. A tutor. Mm -hmm. Go on then. A tutor who tutored the lute. Interesting. A tutor, keep your mouth open. So your your natural, your your neutral, your natural neutral is to come back to this. In England, we do this. We're ready. We're ready to go. We're ready to bite people's heads off. Okay. So <laughs> keep your mouth open for me. A tutor. Who a tutor. Go on. Who tutored. The lute. A tutor who tutored a lute. Interesting. Tutored is now becoming tutored. It's tutored. Um, a tutor tooted. who tutored. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What will help on that is the who tutored. The who is the same ooh as we need in tooted. So you got two together. Who tooted the lute? Give it another go. Who tooted the lute? That's it. Good. It was good the first few times. I think just then, because I'm trying to get you to think about 20 other things, we're dropping it. Um, oh, give yeah. it another. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Give me another go. And yeah, just try and remember to come back to neutral as slow as you like um between each kind of chapter of the tongue twister uh, let me just demonstrate again and i'm i'm not exaggerating i want you to do this pause between okay so a mm -hmm. tutor who tooted the lute can you see how i'm coming back to this kind of like position between chapters of the the tongue twister so give it another go for me a tutor who tooted the loop, tried to tutor, to tutors, to toot. Good, well done. You're keeping your mouth open between the, the chapters. Which <laughs> I is tried lovely. my best. <laughs> it's good, it's hard, isn't it? And yeah, because yeah. we've got a natural disposition of things we do when we finish talking. Um, but again, I think with with the British, I know Lilo talks about this like the other week, but there is just a different resting point, I guess we're just kind of like ready to go um so good well done tutor 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 the loop. can you just say um um try to can you do the, the back half of the the last half of the the tongue twister for me again to tutor to tutors to toot one more time to tutor to tutors to toot tutors to toot to toot okay good on the ooh now, toot, on the tutors, I'll just type it out because we've got lots of different versions. Um, tutors, <laughs> that toot. Um, can we toot, rather than making it small as we get to the, the second T, can we try and keep it a bit meatier and richer on the voice? Toot. There's almost a glottal in there. Toot. Oot. Can you try that for me? Toot. Toot. Better. Toot. Toot. Yeah. Tutor. 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 Yeah. Tutor. Tutor. Excellent. Now, instead of tutor, uh, tutor. A bit like leather, not leather, leather. Tutor. Like a ah. Uh, almost like we're going toot, ah. Uh. That makes sense. Tutor. Better. Tutor. Tutor. Yeah. Toot. Tutor. Tutor. Excellent. Can you give me that in context of the tongue twister now? A, and, and this is really hard because there's two of them. But a tutor, which you do perfectly, beautifully well, um, tried to, so try to tutor to tutors to toot. 
A tutor who tutored the lute tried to tutor to tutors to toot. Better, tutors to toot. Excellent. Well done. Could you hear the difference? It's very subtle. Oh, it's very, very tiny difference. I know. It's a <laughs> tiny little difference, but it's just a little thing. Oh, yeah. um, I'll leave it there for now, but watch this back and keep going over it. This is a really good one. And again, like I think it's improved loads since I've seen you last. Um, now it's just that consistency, I'd say, um, Natalia. So just keep working on it. Tutor. Um, and, and don't be afraid as well. You can play around because I think you would maybe do this if you um, had grown up around here, like tut um, tutor, tutor. So we're actually dropping. Mm -hmm. I'll let you play around with both now. So I'll just give you a demonstration, everyone, if you want to hear. So this is me being like quite precise and clipped with all my, my T's. A tutor who tooted the lute tried to tutor to tutors to toot. It's very precise, isn't it? It's very posh English, I would call that. But Pippa, who might say it in a bit more contemporary British, would say a tutor who tooted the lute tried to tutor to tutors to toot. I might add more of a, a glottal kind of thing in there and drop quite a lot on my T's. That was probably a little bit more common than I would sound, but that's just like me going to the other extreme example, yeah? So again, have a little play around with that, Natalia. Any questions? No questions. Thank you very much. Lovely work. Well done. Thank you. Paulina. Hi. Uh, Hi. I will do... Uh, could you mute yourself, Natalia? Please, yeah. Uh, I will take the longest one. <laughs> yeah, okay, um, go for it. Give me the gift of a grip top sock, a clip, drape, ship, shape, tip, top sock. Lovely. Could you feel your diaphragm bouncing around and all those P sounds? I don't know. I was too much concentrate on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Lovely. Give me um ship, shape, tip, top. Ship shape tip top can you feel the the weight of those peas yeah. or not the weight but yeah the bouncy kind of thing going on good 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 everyone should feel that you should feel more connection on the voiceless sounds that require more friction and that was lovely it was really really clear from Polina those peas weren't getting lost at any point so it's lovely well done um give 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 I want more give on give give not give 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 give, give. Give. Can you give me a? Uh, 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 can you go? Um, eesh. Eesh. Like something's really disgusting. Eesh. Bring it at the back of the throat eesh. for me. Eesh. 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 Still forward. Um, can we go? Ga 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 ga. Ga ga ga. Gi gi gi. Gi gi gi. 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 Give. Give. Hello, little one. How are you? <laughs> Hello. Um good. Give. Hi. Welcome. We're just we're just articulating some words. Um give. Give it to me again. Give. 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 So instead of, so what I'm hearing is that we're coming a bit further forward rather than similar to Zarina earlier, where I wanted a bit more back on which i i it's back at the throat rather than we and a give. I think because we've got the V following the G, which starts at the back of the throat, we're coming forward with it. So we've got to come forward, but I want you to come back first. Give, 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 give. Better that time. Give, 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 give. give. Yeah, nice. I think it's give. like, yeah, I think think backwards, not forwards. And that V is just like a little kind of thing at the end that just happens to be there. But the word would just be gi otherwise without that be. So give. 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 Backwards again. Give. Give. Yeah, good. Better that second time, that third time, sorry. Um. So, so let's just say, give me the gift. Give me the gift. One more time, the, the computer was rattling. Give me the gift. Okay, good. What I think is not helping is that because you're aware we're on computer, you're kind of leaning forward to help me hear and see you. Can you okay. actually, I'm going to actually ask you now to lean back on your chair. Backwards, easy breezy. Lean back if you can, or are you, yeah, yeah, good. Um, give. I think you're falling backwards when you say give. Give. Yeah. Give me the gift. Give me the gift. Better. Yeah. It's coming backwards more. Can you hear and feel it slightly different? 
Uh, <laughs> no, it's difficult, yeah. It's really Give difficult. Give me the gift. Better. Good. Mm -hmm. Well done. So, yeah, because these words, so give and gift, they start, so just to reiterate everyone, it starts at the back of the throat. We've got the g, yeah? We practiced that earlier when we did our butter stuff. G, 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 g. It's back here. G, 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 g. The vocal folds interacting are making the glottal sound. G, 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 g. But they end with that, with consonants that are at the tip at the front. V, gift, and give. They, they finish here, both those words. But what I'm trying to get, just to iterate again, just to make it really clear, Polina, rather than everything, as soon as we've started here, coming forward to finish the word, I want it to come back and then come forward to just finish the word. So we're going to go give the gift. Do you see what I'm doing? Do you, can you see like energetically what I'm trying to demonstrate here? Can you see what I'm trying to demonstrate? Uh, yes, I, I try, but you are too small in my... <laughs> In my screen, can I, I, can, I cannot well, understand can I? how to do you. Let me see. Da, 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 da. Add spotlight. Can you all see me? Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Still figuring out this Zoom malarkey. Um, lovely. So yeah, <clears throat> we're starting here, but I want you to think back before you come forward to finish the word. Give me the gift. Yeah. One more time. Give me the gift interesting gift i saw you gesture forward try and come yeah. back a little bit more for me give me the gift give me the gift yeah that was better on give give let's try that give me the gift give me the gift 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 longer and more on voice for me gift gift yeah, gift. Can you feel that resonance in the back yeah. of your throat? Yes. Yeah, right, good. That's what I want you to give. practice for. Mm -hmm. So let's do that again, nice and long and slow. Give me the gift. Give me the gift. Yeah, nice one. Well done. Practice that for me. Um, Good. So yeah, let's elongate that vowel sound for now. Let's see, just to challenge you and push you forward. Can you give me the whole tongue twister again, but really give me that g, g, g? as best you can. If you need to make it a bit longer, that's fine. I'll forgive that for now. Um, but let's do the whole tongue twister, but really get that that beginning down for me. And I just want to see what happens by the end. Mm -hmm. Good. Give me the gift of grip, top, sock. A clip, drap, chip, shape, tip, top, sock. Lovely, really good concentration there. That's so brilliant. This is a really hard tongue twister, guys. And the bit that I thought, people might struggle with Paulina isn't struggling with so really really good um next thing I just want to give you to work on is of a of a grip can you say of a grip really slowly for me of a grip yeah good so we're almost going ah eh, ah it's a schwa there ah. let's just make it a schwa ah. for now of a grip uh, of a grip of a grip Excellent. And again, what's happening on all of those? Oh, ah, oh, it's the glottal back again. So we're actually, even though we've got lots of P's in this, this tongue twister, and it's a lot at the front of the mouth, it's at the back of the throat as much as it is at the front, I would say. So I think for you, working on those glottals would be really good. And that almost backwards energy with the words, just to feel more resonance down here, because a lot of the accents in England, we have it's all back here. This is what I was talking about, feeling like quite grounded and being quite earthy in Britain. It's not very full. We're not very like this and forward a lot of the time. We are a little bit more like back and chilled, even though we're quite uptight as a nation, I would say. Um, yeah, I'd just say work on that for me. Um, just give me that first section again up to the first sock. Uh, and again, let's just try and think more backwards energy. Let's just play around with it now. Give me the gift of a grip top sock. Give just one minute. Give me the gift of a grip top sock. Good. Let's try and change the pitch a little bit lower rather than give me the gift. Give me the gift of we're angry about it. Give me the gift. Threatening almost. <laughs> um give one minute. Give me the um, gift. Give me the gift of a grip top sock 
good well done good effort I feel like you're doing a thousand things at once today you're amazing um well done just work on um just because I was seeing a bit more tension building then give me the grip give me the gift try it again one more time I just give me the gift good I want to finish on that work on that for me backwards glottal stuff and don't be afraid to schwa it up I know it's a tongue twister and sometimes I'm saying I don't want schwa's in the tongue twisters um but for now for this one just practice the give me the gift of a grip top sock it is quite back here I would say so just work on that for me does that all make sense yeah, really, really good. Again, notes wise, everyone, I'd say that's more of a note for Paul, Paul, Paulina, like individually. So don't all worry about that if I haven't mentioned it to you before, but it's just something to be aware of. And it's just good again to figure out where the sound is like starting and ending on these words. So good. Well done. Lovely job, my darling. Let's go to Violetta. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I thought Olga was the next. Oh. Be honest. You were next on mine. Yes, we have oh, a, queue, a very long queue. Yes, <laughs> have a long queue. I don't know if it's the same order for everyone. I've still got Paulina at the front again now. Actually, anyway, I've got Violetta, Olga. You're next, babes. You're next. Thank you so much, Go on, Violetta. Uh, so uh, I will choose the one uh, about a white witch. Mm -hmm. So um, a white witch watched a woolly walrus. One more time. A white witch watched a woolly walrus. Brilliant. Well done. First thing I'm actually going to talk about is not the W's. A white witch. A white witch. Ah, I see. Ah, not a. <laughs> <laughs> it is a white witch. Always. A yeah. white witch. Better. That's it. Good. In fact, I, I'll give you permission. It's not a tongue twister anymore. You're just telling me about this white witch. Can you just give it to me in a, a like contemporary setting? A white witch watched a walrus. Just tell me that. Uh, uh, a white witch watched a woolly walrus. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you very much. I just want to see how you did it in like a chilled setting. Um, lovely. Can you give me the whole tongue twister again? It's a tongue twister again now. Um, get the uh in there for me and try and just start strong. Don't repeat it three times before you begin. Just give it a go. All right. A uh, white witch watched a woolly walrus. Lovely. Woolly, woolly walrus. Woolly. Okay, good. Um, woolly, wool, woolly. Can you say uh, a woolly walrus again for me? A woolly walrus. Woolly. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm hearing. Woolly, 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 woolly. Good. Okay. Um, can we do a few tongue curls yeah. up? And just like almost like we're tapping the hard bit of our, our mouths. We can all do this little exercise. Uh, so essentially, this is the top of the mouth, the hard palate. This is the tongue. I just want us to go almost like we're flicking. In fact, yeah, let's make it a flick. Mm -hmm. like we're just stroking the top of our, our mouth. Can you try that for me, Violetta? Does that make sense? Okay, so... Um, no voice, just silence. You see what I'm doing? Yeah, good. And then let's add a little bit of a la, la, la in there. La, la, la. Nice and light. La, la, la. Good. And even flickier. So could you hear... Every, this is quite interesting, actually. Just then I said, can I get a la, la, la? It's quite short, but Violetta gave me a l, l. Did you hear the difference? Yes. L, l, l and a l. I want less. I want more of the lighter kind of sound. So a l, 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 like a little little fairy, la la, lying around. L, 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 l. Better, lovely. Um, li, li, li. Let's change the vowel sound. Li, li, li. Yeah, li, li, li. Lee, lee, lee. Yeah. Uh, lu, lu, lu. Lu, lu, lu. Lee, lee, lee. Lee, lee, lee. Bully. Lee. Bully. Like bully. In fact, say bully. 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 Mm, bully. I'll just type it in. Ah, bully. I see. Bully. 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 Good. That first one. Could you hit so subtle? I'm just trying to throw things at you and see what you're what you're doing. Rather than bully, 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 bully. Can you hear the difference? Yes, bully, 
Bully. 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 And then a lighter one. Bully. 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 Yeah. It's a little bit, it's less energy, isn't it? Can you give me woolly with a little bit of a lighter L now? Like we've just established there's a darker one and a lighter one. Let's have it. Let's make it a bit lighter. Woolly. 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 Yeah. Gorge. Okay, good. Um, I want that, please. <laughs> okay again it's interesting isn't it and i know it's contradictory because it's a tongue twister i want everything richer and stronger um but actually woolly woolly like that kind of darker woolly thing made it sound less british to me actually um woolly woolly we, we kind of keep it a bit lighter woolly woolly rather than woolly do you see <laughs> like yeah. wildly um good so um give me the whole tongue twister again with the us i want both us to be beautiful us uh as in a, uh, not eh. And then the woolly, can we keep it nice and light? Almost like we're throwing it away a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, white witch watched a woolly walrus. Good attempt. Good, 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 good go. Another go. Watch out that second a uh, doesn't become an eh. And, um, oh, there was another one. I've lost it. Carry on. Do it again for me. Keep that light L one more time. A uh, white witch watched a woolly walrus. Yeah, good. Well done. Nice, nicely done. Um, interesting that time. I think because I picked you up, you concentrated harder. And I know your brain is working like a hundred times a minute, but like it was much stronger that time in all the other sounds as well in sounding more British. Um, this is like, the, it requires so much concentration, guys. Like you're all doing so amazingly well. Um do it one more time for me, Violetta. Um, and that first R now, <laughs> I think because you're stressing it a little bit, it's becoming a ah uh, and like falling off like vocally. Ah, uh, it's it's got like a bit of a glottal beginning and end to it. Ah, uh, it's quite short and clipped. So can you give me that short clipped ah uh, that I want? Yeah? Got it. Okay. Uh, white witch watched a uh, woolly walrus. Excellent. Well done. How was that? Well, thank you so much. It was perfect. <laughs> ah, it was perfect, darling. Yeah, really, really good. A white witch watched. Yeah, brilliant. Um, I do want to give you one more thing before we go, Violetta. White, 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 white. Can you say a white witch for me again? White witch. White, white, white. Okay, so this is interesting and it's going to contradict a little bit of what I've been giving some other people. White, white actually, I think, comes a bit more forward energetically white because it's a dithong i think i i yeah hi it it starts back but then does come forward on voice a little bit more on the vowel sound rather than um yeah i can you give me that i i i i good so i got i did get you to do two different things there we did i e and then r uh, e okay so let's do i e again i e I e good and let's melt them together a little bit I I can you feel what your tongue is doing uh, yes a little bit I yeah yes uh -huh. good and now let's try R e R e R e R e good try not to jolt forward as you do it I know why you're doing it but try not to do that let's just go let's sit back and share take a breath easy breezy no problem Ah. E. Uh, e. I. I. Good. I. 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 Like I eat. I eat an uh, apple. I. White. 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 <coughs> good oh something just caught me in the throat then good white we still need to keep the voice coming forward on the second part of the dithong <laughs> white white i'm still using a voiced kind of connection at the front of my mouth on the t oh my gosh i've just swallowed something i think i've eaten a fly or something um <clears throat> give me another go on white mm -hmm. uh white yeah and now let's squish it all together again. Like we've got two walls squashing it in. White. White. Even quicker. White. 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 
white white that's it good well done I know I feel like I've just thrown loads at the end there um keep playing around with that um and make sure that you're keeping it on voice and it's not just becoming white 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 can you hear the difference in what I'm saying not yeah. white 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 yeah does that make sense yes it is uh, um we stress uh the t yes a little bit more uh and uh allow the voice to come through before we take the voice away on the t because the t sound doesn't normally have much sound behind it white white it is but we are giving it a bit more welly that time yeah yes anything else any no. other questions no? no okay good well done lovely <clears throat> excuse me getting caught up all of a sudden <clears throat> with something there uh, let me just remove you who was next olga was next up your pop well done, Violetta. Uh, okay. I want to read the I sleep the sheet one. Excellent. I slit the sheet, the sheet I slit upon the slitted sheet I sit. Lovely. Well done. I think the second sheet we did get a shit, um, which is what I love about this. <laughs> we might swear um very very good let's give it another go for me try and get that second sheet nice and uh long like your first one was nice and strong actually so i slit the sheet the sheet i slit i slit the sheet the sheet i slit yeah good upon the slitted sheet i sit good third one was stronger as well well done um I slit, I slit, slit, slit it. Can you say it, it, it for me? It, 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 slit. It, it, it. Slit. I'm getting more it, 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 not it, 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 slit. It, it, slit. I, what I'm hearing is more of a, a, it slit the sheet, not it slit the sheet. I feel like it. we're not quite getting on the sound as much slit. as I would like to hear. One more time. Slit. 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 Better. Yeah. Could you could you tell what I was trying to what was going on there? Rather than I think. Yeah. Yes. Think. So we need to we need to commit to it vocally. Again, guys, this is why I do these warm-ups with you to begin with, to make you feel a little bit silly and practice getting on your voice and actually grabbing what you have with both hands, not tentatively kind of like, mm, ing it because we're nervous and all of that, all right? So really, really good. That second time, I think, or just then, it had a bit more commitment to it, which I think made it sound more British. Um, so um, let's just do the first four words. I slit the sheet. I slit the sheet better lovely um the sheet i slit the sheet i slit i good. slit good well done well corrected do that one one more time for me the sheet i slit excellent sheet i slit good what i'm seeing as well we're artificially popping in these little like rises in our we're giving ourselves dim floors we don't need them at this point the sheet if anything it's not up it's like wide sheet out the sheet. and then sl slit i'm not i'm not lifting nothing i'm going longer slit okay as well that might help so let's just try again the sheet i slit the sheet i slit i better. slit better i can see it's good because you're i can see that you're trying to Im imitate what i'm doing which is great just be careful if we're going wide we're not going up and wide too much we don't want to joker it we want to we want to kind of come a little bit flatter and wider. Do you see what I'm saying? So let's just smile, like high smile, crazy eyes, joker, high smile. And then let's kind of come down a little bit like a, e. yeah, <laughs> lovely. So it's kind of two different pinches, I'd say. One's like up cheekbones and one's like into the like back teeth more. Can you see and feel the difference? Yeah, that's just yeah. not my mimics. <laughs> it's not what it's not my mimics that i yeah. use in real life so i have to practice 
Exactly. Fantastic observation. Good note for everyone there. Olga said, well, I don't do that in real life. So I've got to practice. Of course, you speak and sound and do things a certain way. You have done your whole life. Now we're trying to change all of that. Oh my God, in two hours on a Saturday. It's a lot of effort and it's a lot of work. So yeah, be patient with yourself. Really, really good. Let's have the whole tongue twister again, please. Get on the I sounds. Mm -hmm. Make sure we get a, a, a lower, I don't want to say lower, but more of a horizon, horizontal wide rather than a lifted wide when we do the e sound and let's see what happens whole tongue twister again please i slit the sheet the sheet i slipped upon the slitted sheet i sit fantastic well done have you got any questions no thank you excellent uh, I'm not finished with you yet. Can you do it again, but less tongue twistery, more conversational? That doesn't mean get lazy with it. It still requires the concentration that you've acknowledged you need because this is not how you normally do it. Um, but let's soften it up a little bit and make it a little bit more conversational. I'll just demonstrate again. I slit the sheet, the sheet I slit upon the shitted, upon the slitted sheet I sit. <laughs> oh, I really, but did you see how much I committed to the swearing? Because I thought I got it right. I hadn't. <laughs> Good. So that kind of casual, that kind of vibe. Okay. Give it another go for me. So casual. So casual, darling. One more time. Okay. I slid the shit. The shit I slid. Upon Excellent. the slitted shit I sit. <laughs> good, shit. well done. Good, 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 good. It's good for me. So sometimes I'll do that, guys, just to see, like, if I take the pressure off a little bit how it kind of comes out and so it's again it's just a useful way for me to see what what requires more concentration for you at the moment and I do think the sheet sounds and actually the video I sent you so Olga sent me her homework in a personal message and I replied the video I sent you today Olga is kind of talking about this stuff for you so I think with the longer vowel sounds I think you just need to practice them um, and make sure that they're all really clearly different because they that mm -hmm. time it was verging on shit not sheet again because we casualed it up again so yeah watch that video i gave you but essentially sheet sheet eat sheet. sleet say that for me sheet eat sleet sheet eat sleet interesting okay good work on it for me give me the tongue twister again let's go heightened articulation again one more time it's a tongue twister again we're not casualing it up give it one more I go slit the sheet the sheet I slit upon the slitted sheet. I sit. Brilliant. Well done. Yeah. I think for you now, it's finding the balance between keeping it casual and taking the pressure off yourself and the concentration um, so that it becomes natural again. But like you said, it just takes practice, but you're hitting it all right. Really, really well. Um, and what's really lovely as well, Olga's naturally got, I think, the schwa down upon. She's got the upon down like lush so well done and that's normally something that i have to pick up a lot on um in these sessions is the schwa i would say so yeah well done any questions olga thank you thank you well done um regina is next on my list i hope that's the right one for everyone mm -hmm. <laughs> next on the list no one's pushing in you we're all here together um okay. let me just spotlight you so many buttons go on what do you want to work on about a tutor about a tutor mm -hmm. go on then. Let's do it. A tutor for tutor, the loot tried to tutor to tutors to toot. One more time. A tutor for tutors, the loot tried to tutor to tutors to toot. Tutor. Really good. Really a good. Tutor. What I'd say, a tutor. Again, kind of contradictory note. Because it's a tongue twister, we want to stress everything. However, there's still a level of stress that is needed to make it sound like the word we're saying. For example, tutor, because you're giving me the ah that I mentioned earlier in another um, in another one to one moment. Um, we can I still want you to hit it, but you can pull off of showing me that you've got it more. Does that make sense? You don't have to prove to me you've got that down. I want you to just say it as a tongue twister with the right stress and intonation that it would have. Does that make sense? So oh, yes. oh, someone's in the the West Wing. 
of Regina's new mansion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm there, but my, my son is playing that I can't hear it just a bit. Mm -hmm. Fine. Bless you. Well done doing all the things. Um, so yeah, rather than tutor, give me tutor. 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 That's it. That's what I want. So give me the whole thing again and just think, um, yeah, don't don't try and show me you've got it. Just have it. One more time. Okay. A tutor for tutors, the loot guide to tutor to tutors to tote. Better. Well done. Good. So it was still extra precise there, wasn't it, everyone? But like she was kind of breezing over it a little bit more. It was just an attitude change. Don't prove to me. And I, I relate to this all the time. You don't have to prove you've got something and just have it. Just do it. OK, but really good. Again, it's good that you, you're showing and, and, and going that extra mile. But yeah, really good. Um, Good. Let's have a little look at. um, to, uh, Where is it? Tried to to tutor to tutors to toot. Can you give me two tutors to toot? Two tutors to toot. Two tutors to toot. Two tutors to toot. Two tutors to toot. Good. Um, can we put the again? Let's drive. Let's get over the fact there's two of them, and let's just go two tutors to toot. Two tutors to toot. Yeah, excellent. And a tutor who tooted the lute. A tutor who tooted the lute. A tutor. A tutor. A tutor. A tutor. Better. Who tooted the lute? Who tutored the lute? Who tooted the lute? One more time. Who tooted the lute? Who tooted, yeah. Who tooted? Good. Can you give me the whole thing one more time? Okay. A tutor who tutored the lute tried to tutor to tutors to toot. Good. Well done. Who? So, um, a tutor who, not who, who tooted, who tooted, who tooted. Who tooted. See what I'm doing differently? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so who, again, we're, we're giving it a bit more, more or something, not who, 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 who's at the door, who's at the door, who, 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 good, well done, <laughs> lovely, and I can see your diaphragm working as well there, who, we're really getting our body involved, lovely, um, who, 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 good, can you, Think down more and lower in pitch rather than who, 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 yeah, who, 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 getting there. Well done. <laughs> it's such a subtle difference. So what I was hearing, just to iterate and make it extra clear for you, um, I got who, who which is like a huh, huh, huh. I kind of feel like it's a bit of a train kind of sound going on. Um, I don't know if your son's playing with trains in the background or something. <laughs> huh, huh, huh. We've got like a kind of train kind of thing going. Who, who, we've got a bit more voice coming out after the initial aspirate kind of sound. So we've got the, huh, we've got this huh, sound kind of happening, but it's followed by an ooh, who, rather than a huh, 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 huh. Oh. ooh. We're bringing the voice in and it is, so I'm trying to get you to kind of go down in pitch and think lower rather than a, which is just who who oh. you do it again for me make it round who oh. yeah who who a tutor who tutored the lute a tutor who tutored the lute good good one more time and again who um who 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 now I'm going to push you even for I'm giving you loads to think about Regina you're doing really well um at the end of it a bit more of a glottal punch. Who? 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 A tutor who tutored the lute. A tutor who tutored the lute. Better, better. I think it's just quite dif different from what you're used to doing. Um, and because Regina's got quite a natural way of like skimming through it and making it feel really natural, um, I'm actually kind of interrupting that natural kind of talent let's say you have to do that and trying to get a little bit more precision in there so again just as just as I'm saying it with the rhythm and the stress and the the where I'm pulling it out a little bit more try and replicate that for me I'll just do it one more time a tutor who tooted the lute do that for me a tutor who tutored the lute even more isolated a tutor gap who 
tooted the lute. That bigger gap I want, okay, at the beginning and either side. One more time. A tutor who tooted the lute. Better. Yeah, again, at the beginning, I don't want you to skim into it because I want the who. I want you to, to take a kind of almost micro breath before you do it to connect so that it comes out how I want it to come out. Um, So good. Um, Give me the whole tongue twister again. Really try and don't worry about that gap now, but I do want you to practice that in your own time. But really try and get that kind of round who sound before you jump onto tooted um, just to give it a little bit more weight. One more time. A tutor who tutored the lute tried to tutor to tutors to toot. Fantastic. Really, really good effort. Good concentration. Final thing. Tried. Tried. Um, tried. Tried. Again, can we just skim that together a little bit more? Tried to tutor. Tried to tutor. Yeah, good. So what I'm hearing is tried. Tried. We're kind of making it really eyed. Tried. 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 It's a little bit. Le- yeah, one more time. Tried try to tutor try to tutor lovely that kind of that kind of thing please thanks <laughs> and again it's a good sign it's a really good sign because you're trying to break it up and elongate it and make it precise um i give you permission now to to condense that a little bit try to tutor one more time try to tutor try to tutor try to tutor yeah great the important thing is that you try to tutor somebody not necessarily tried that being said, guys, note for everyone, we might want to go, he tried to do something. Maybe we would do what you just did. However, through a normal ear and a normal conversation, a normal British conversation, it would probably be tried. It'd be a lot quicker and over with faster. Um, have you got any questions, Regina? No, no, great, thanks. Good. I've got one. Regina or Regina? I feel like I ask you every time. So usually Regina. Regina. Yes. Okay. I think thanks. I did that last time anyway. Okay. I will remember Regina. Okay, Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> up next i've got lida yes i'm here hello hey hello welcome what do you want to work on uh, i would like to read the second one a white witch <clears throat> lovely when you're ready okay i'm ready um a white witch watched a woolly walrus a white witch watched a woolly walrus lovely well done I love that you just did it twice off the bat because that's what I get everyone to do. Well done. Uh, good observation. Um, a white witch. Again, I think um, we need a little bit more back energy with you as well. Rather than a white witch did this and it's all up here, mm-hmm. a white eye. Can you make it more about you, mate? Let's make it more about you. I. Repeat after me. I. 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 I'm the queen. I'm the queen. <laughs> I'm the best. I'm the best. Hello, I'm here. Hello, I'm here. Yeah, can you feel it being a bit more ah, 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 ah back uh, here? Okay. <laughs> the white witch. The, uh, the white witch. Better, good. The white witch. Wished. Oh, wait, no, what one? Watched a woolly watched a woolly walrus excellent well done one more time Uh, a white witch watched a woolly walrus excellent good um yeah i think in fact everyone can do this exercise so at the back of our throat we have something called the soft palate and it's used quite often in singing and like opera singers use it a lot as like a soundboard it basically like reflects our sound and makes us sound like all like oh I'm uphill my soft palate is very lifted so one way we can kind of get our muscles doing that and waking that bit up um is by imagining that you're smelling like a bouquet of like your favorite roses or flowers you know like a that kind of like oh it smells so nice good you might not feel it happening but it it tends to lift the soft palate at the back of our throats a little bit so just imagine everyone just do that as an exercise just smell that delicious smell it could be food it's normally food with me let's be honest you know something really delicious that you just love Mm -hmm. smell of your you know that recipe that just makes you feel at home yeah okay good give me the tongue twister again a white witch watched a woolly walrus lovely well done felt like there was more space going on at the back of your throat you might not have been able to feel much different could you feel much difference yes yes i can feel it right now yeah 
th there's more it wakes it all up a bit back here um and it gives us again i do think there's a lot of like psychological brilliance from doing this sort of thing it makes us feel more spacious it makes us take up more space in our own heads mm -hmm. literally uh, you know, and I was playing around getting you to say things like, I'm the queen, I'm the best. But like, I want you to be more confident with it, I think. And I think what before energetically, you were quite small and forward. And actually, I want you to practice being a bit more backwards and more confident. Leader, leader. Okay, so give it a, one more time. Tell me about the white witch that watched the woolly walrus with confidence. Okay. The white witch watched a woolly walrus. Good. Watched. Don't forget that end of that word one more time white uh <clears throat> a white witch watched a woolly walrus lovely much more connected on voice there it wasn't as dainty it was more confident and again remember in england in london we've got to speak over the tube we're speaking over so many other people like it's crowded like there's a reason i think why we we have quite strong voices some of us to like get over each other okay so again having that confidence to be in the city and own who you are that's what I want a little bit more of you so let's come with that attitude to everything leader that you when you're working on your accent because that was much more connected I thought mm -hmm. and truer to you actually um good uh let's just do um in fact say it one more time for me again <clears throat> a white witch watched a woolly walrus good a white. I'm going to give you permission now to ease off of the white that you're giving me. What white. white? It's a bit softer. A white. White. A white. white. Give a me the schwa beforehand as well. Uh, a white. A white. Okay. A white. A white. Okay. Good. One more thing. Not a, a white. It's not. It's almost. I'm almost hearing a V almost coming like a a, a white. A white. White. We want more on voice. Mm -hmm. held up before we commit to the sound yeah so a white a white a uh, white mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. can you feel the difference do you know what i'm saying yes yes mm -hmm. a white. one more time whole thing <clears throat> a white uh, okay the whole um a white witch watched a woolly walrus yeah nice one lovely which watched a woolly Good. walrus fantastic one more thing for you on the itch sounds the ch uh, the witch and watched. Just be careful the tongue isn't too prominent and forward. Which, which I'm feeling like you're pushing your tongue forward a little bit on which, which, and it's keeping it here. We, um, yeah, okay. which, rather than which, which. If anything, my tongue is kind of coming down, which. And the tip of my tongue can actually be behind the bottom of my teeth, I think, there. Which, which, kind of. Um, try not to meet it and force it forward try and loosen it and keep it light the tongue so just give me which watched which watched which watched better it's clearer ch sound the there, as muddled. Down. i can't understand you uh if the tongue up or down i want it a bit lower which uh which which okay got that mm -hmm. watched a uh, white which watched that's it that's better what? Yeah, before it was a bit witch. We were trying to force it out, but actually we don't need to. We can chill. Witch. Chill, because we're confident, aren't we? And we're chilled about it and we're on our voices. Lovely. Uh, give me it one more time. A white witch watched a woolly walrus. Yeah, really, really good. Lovely. Watch this video back again. Everything that I gave Violetta on woolly, I want you to work on as well, because it came out a little bit thicker then and I want it a little bit lighter, okay? Woolly. 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 Okay. Yeah, good. But fantastic. Really, really good. Any questions, Lida? No, thank you very much. Smashing! Anastasia, please. Um, hi. Mm, I will choose the uh, one with the uh, most difficult vowel for me. It uh -huh. will be again about the tutor. Uh-huh. <laughs> Go for it. A tutor who tutored the lute tried to tutor to tutors to <laughs> well done that was really good i saw you at the end you were kind of like i feel like did you get annoyed at yourself there at the end <laughs> no i just thought that i made a mistake in the two okay great but that's what we're here for so well done well done for giving it a go and picking the most difficult one for you to do that was fantastic a really good attempt um let's have uh what is the sound in particular that you're worried about out of curiosity uh, this O, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, I thought your tutor was good. The first one was quite tutor, tutor, yeah. 
But then the second one was actually tutor, which is what I asked of earlier from somebody else, which I thought you did really, really well. So that was naturally, that came through actually, I think when you tried less. Um, but yeah, toot then. Okay, a tutor who tooted, let's say, um, just give me the first bit first of all, a tutor who tooted the lute. A tutor who tooted the lute. Excellent. So what I'm hearing, and this might be why you're finding the ooh a little bit difficult, we're really, um, you've got a very strong tea, which is lovely. I love strong teas. Um, well, actually, I like my tea a little bit milkier, but anyway. Um, <laughs> your teas are really, really strong. You can afford to not pinch them together for as long and as hard as you do. It doesn't have to be as intense as you're giving it. So what I'm hearing, I'll demonstrate, is tooted, tooted, tooted. It's like a little lift and a little flick. Again, similar like what I was getting Violetta to do earlier when I wanted like a la 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 da 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 da. Can you just give me a little ta 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 like a little a little drummer person's just going ta 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 on a drum. Da 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 da. Better. Good. Well done. The first one was quite intense, and then you eased off of it. Well done. Toot toot toot. Toot toot toot. Teet teet teet. Teet teet teet. Tot tot tot. Tot tot tot. Excellent. And let can we just try making it even quieter, like it's a little secret. Toot toot toot. Toot toot toot. Play, playing a tiny little trumpet. Toot toot toot. Toot toot toot. Yeah, great. Tooted. Tooted. A tutor who tooted. A tutor who tooted. Take this chin, take that hand away for me. Uh, take, your away. take your hand away for, for me because I, I think that uh -huh. might help you grip okay so good a, a tutor who tooted a tutor who tooted 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 beautiful perfect a tutor who tooted a tutor who tooted lovely well done good how's that feeling strange strange <laughs> This is a new feeling. <laughs> it requires a little bit less effort. Um, and I think, again, like I talk about in my sessions, sometimes when we get a bit worked up about something, we just try 20 times harder than we need to. And it actually interrupts our flow a little bit. So what I just say, Anastasia, like I'd, I'd, I'd ease off of the two, two, two a little bit more. And if you find that you're, you're gripping them a little bit too much again, just come back to a little tiny trumpet and have a little bit of fun with it. Toot, toot, toot. Teet, 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 ta, 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 have a little play and and that's what I'm after that's that's articulate enough um for it to be crystal clear so give me the whole thing again um tutor however does require a little bit more oomph doesn't it tutor tutor that beginning has a yod that beginning t has a yod straight after it um but you were hitting that very well so because you've got strong t's so so give me that as you would as you will uh but let's just focus on getting the the lighter t's that we can afford in there for example on Toot it, okay? Give it a go. A tutor who tutored the lute tried to tutor two tutors to toot. Brilliant. Really, really good. Interesting. And interesting as well, like I think the ooh sound you said you were struggling with, but actually like I've just kind of talked about the T's and the oohs come naturally. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, <laughs> So again, interesting how certain things bleed into and get caught up in other things when actually that's not the problem. I actually was hearing the T was causing too much stress and that's why the ooh was probably, you were getting in your head about it, but it's because you were talking about the T so, or, or giving me the T so strong. Um, so good, ooh, let's just, just for the sake of um, practice, um, good, good, um, good toot. He did a good toot, give me that, good toot. Good toot. Good toot. Good toot. Yeah, good. Similar with your G's and your D's, actually. I think you can ease off your consonants a little bit more. Let's make it a little bit lighter. Go, 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 go. 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 Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Well done. Good job. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good toot. Good toot. Yeah, I think for you, you can chill out with your consonants a little bit, mate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You've got it all there. And what I would say, like, as well, like, the speed of which I was getting you to do it as well, um, like little, like, g -g 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 
We still don't, we don't want to like, even then my geese, my, my geese, my geese were a little bit too muddly, muddy there when I just demonstrated. We still want the precision of each one in isolation, um, but it doesn't require as much effort as I think you were giving it. I'd say you were giving that like a nine out of 10 on effort, but now we've dropped it back to like a four out of 10. And that's more accurate to what we want. So again, just doing it a little bit pacier and a little bit lighter, thinking lighter, will I think help you get more mobility back in your your tongue do you know what I mean and your and your mouth when you're articulating does that all make sense yeah lovely job fabulous I took direction and notes very well there um so yeah again guys just to iterate when we come at these things with tension and we try extra harder we're way less less flexible right we need our tongues and our lips and our throats and everything to be able to do what it needs to do as it needs to do it as efficiently as possible. And the more we come at it with tensity, tensity, intensity, the harder it is for it to do its job, okay? So that was a beautiful example as demonstrated by Anastasia. Well done. Thank you. Any questions? Mm -mm. Smashing. Well done. Next we have Maria. Hey. Hey. And let's go with the biscuits. Yay, I love biscuits. Go on, when you're ready. I uh, I bought a box of biscuits, a, bo- a box of mixed biscuits. One more time. I bought a box of biscuits, a box of mixed biscuits. Fantastic. Well done. Good go of it. I bought, not bought. It sounded a bit like bought. Bought. Ought. You ought to know. Can you give me, um, you ought to know. You ought to know. I'll actually just spell that because I think it's an interesting word. You ought. You ought. To, yeah, you ought to know. You ought spelled, to know. Yeah, it's spelled with a G. You ought to know. Yeah, ought. 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 Interesting. So I'm hearing oat and I want ought. <laughs> ought. 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 Can you say this or that for me? This or that. Excellent. Can you take your hand away from your chin for me? Good. This or that. This or that. Ah, oh, or, ah. Oh. Okay. The sound I'm hearing is starting almost like up here. Ah, oh, art, art, ought, ought to know. Ought, uh, ought to ought. know. Ought. Better that time. Ought. ought. But. Interesting. Jump straight back then. Ought. 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 Scoop up under it for Ought. me. Ought. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ought. Ought. Bought. 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 Better. Okay. So it's not this oat sound. It's not like a boat. It's a bought. So um oh. if you think yeah, or think kind of longer and down, and if anything's scooping under it. Oat, we come over onto it. Ought, we come under and up. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and practice that length for me as well that I'm just giving you. Ought. Do that for me. Ought. Yeah. Ought. Ought. Excellent. What I'm seeing as well, which is probably not helping, is that we're keeping a bit of width going on. Can you see the difference in my lips if I go like this? Ought. And then this is the other option that I'm seeing from you at the moment. Um, Ought. Ought. We're kind of coming out wide. Ought. It's long and round. Try that. Ought. 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 Better. Okay. Can you keep on the T sound... Can you keep your lips round for me? Ought. 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 Better that time. <laughs> well done. Good. So <laughs> what I'm seeing is that we're coming on the, when we get to the T, we, or, or as we're about to do the T, you're releasing the lip rounding, but I want more lip rounding committed throughout the whole thing. So bought. Bought. If anything, it's bought. 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 Yeah. Not bought. 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 I bought a box of biscuits. Interesting. Lovely. Well done. What's also interesting as well, the reason I said interesting actually is because you had your hand here. 
Ah, okay. I think no, I think that's making you think more back and more resonant and down, which is right. a good thing. So if that helps, fine. I bought we're down here and our chest voice bought so when we're doing these look there's a reason why I get you to play around with pitch and things is because if you go lower pitch you tend to go backwards a bit more bought bought this we don't go I bought this thing I bought this like we don't do that bought it's mm. more of what I think you naturally did that so which is great so again think that then if you need to if you need to think it's down here mm -hmm. start there I bought a box of biscuits I bought a, bo a box of biscuits. Start again. Try again. I bought. A I box. bought. I bought a box of biscuits. Biscuits. Yeah, good. Of biscuits. Can you just do a little hum and Keep your hands here and maybe give them a little rub. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> just do a nice little low. Ah. 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 Can you feel the res resonance and vibration? Definitely. When you eat a biscuit, does it feel nice to eat a biscuit? Yeah. 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 Chocolate, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Lovely box of biscuits. Feel that warmth that you're going to have when you eat that box of biscuits with a hot drink this afternoon. I bought a box of biscuits and I'm really excited to eat them. Give me that. I bought a box of biscuits. Yeah, well done. Yeah. So again, like, do you see what I'm doing? I'm trying to tap into like, an emotional connection the to what feeling. you guys are saying to help you feel where it should sit on you <laughs> for want of a better phrase so um yeah could you feel more warmth and resonance there yeah definitely yeah yeah interesting yeah. so again depending on our accents and our upbringing and the language we speak sometimes it might be up here we might want to we might be here for British, it's really helpful to practice coming down, mm -hmm. back and down and feeling grounded, feeling rooted in our voice and anchoring ourselves in resonance before we begin, especially something like this, which is very rich. It's a rich tongue twister, b, vox, or Yeah, there's bah. lots of lovely, rich sounds in there. And of course, as well, you're, you're speaking about biscuits, which are rich things that we eat in England. So, um, you know, give it another go one more time. Really get the bought, really keep the lip rounding for me and the jaw lengthening a little bit. Um, and box, yeah, just give, just give it to me again, nice and low, box of biscuits. I bought a box of biscuits. I, I bought a box of biscuits, a box of mixed biscuits. Fantastic, really, really good. Um, a box, not a box. Um, a box. A box. A box. Um, I bought a box of biscuits. Just give me a box of biscuits. A box of biscuits. A box of biscuits. A box. A, a box. A box. <laughs> One more time. A box. Of biscuits. Say the end for me as well. A box of biscuits. Yeah, biscuits. A box. Biscuits. Biscuits. It, that's it biscuits. biscuits yeah that's it um whole tongue twister again please i bought a box of biscuits a box of mixed biscuits <laughs> excellent <laughs> well done um a box of mixed biscuits let's just let that run in a little bit more a box of mixed biscuits oh, i can't even say it now a box of mixed biscuits give me that a a box of mixed biscuits. Interesting. Yeah, I think because you're just articulating it, it's kind of like a box of mixed. But we're kind of cutting it off a little bit. Um, just practice elongating it. A box of mixed biscuits on one breath for me. A box of mixed biscuits. One more time. A box of mixed biscuits. Yeah, okay, good. Well done. Um, just be careful on the... C -c 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 sound. We're not stopping everything too much. Um, a box, and it's good because there's lots of that in there. Mix ox iskits. It's there. G -g -g -g. Just try not to um stifle yourself too much. And right. I think because you're concentrating, again, uh, similar to Anastasia earlier, it's kind of just the tension's just too much and actually hindering you doing what you need to do. Um, so a box of mixed biscuits. A box of mixed biscuits. Yeah, lovely. Well done. Any questions? No, it's great. Good. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Great job. Salta, it's you, girlfriend. Hi, Pippa. Hi, everyone. Oh. 
So Welcome. I find this a bit tricky for me. Uh, round the rock, the ragged rascal runs. One more time. Round the rock, the ragged rascal runs. Round. Excellent. What I'm hearing is round. Ooh. It's starting like here almost. Round. <laughs> Around the rag and rag. Oh, yeah, for a cowboy, I want to do that. But not. <laughs> so let's <laughs> round. Ra, 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 ra. Can we, it's awful and I don't want to say it, but can we be like a little bit of a, a dog at the minute and kind of go ra, 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 ra. <laughs> ra, 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 ra. Yeah, ra, ra, ra. Ra, ra, ra. ra. I this R sound a bit tricky for my tongue. I don't, I don't I, know. Which yeah. is probably why when you try and make it, you use here, not mm -hmm. here. <laughs> because mm -hmm. you're just used to doing it that way. So that's fine. Um, so good observation. If it's if it's trickier, just needs a little bit more work over a little bit more time. That's as simple as it is. It's maths. It's science, okay? So don't put pressure on yourself. It's just going to take a little bit of time to unpick the stitching that you've sewn into that habit, okay? Mm -hmm. So um, let's come back to our little dogs. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Yeah, rough, rough, rough. Rough, rough, rough. Good, excellent ear. Um, ref, ref, ref. Ref, ref, ref. Row, row, row. Row, row, row. Okay, good, lovely. Um, rough, ra, 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 ra. Yeah, good. You've got a very good ear for picking up some subtleties, okay? It just, then you fell short of it a little bit, but then yeah. you got back on it when you concentrate. So really, really good. Um, What I would say, it's, it's I think it's more of the ow sound that mm -hmm. is stressing you out rather than the ah, because when you're just repeating me, you're kind of, you are doing what you need to do. So um, let's just try again. Like, you know, like a cat is like, wow. 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 Get this lip happening at the top. Row. 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 Stick your nose up. I give you, yeah. Row. 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 Round. 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 Excellent. So what oh. I'm trying to get you to do, rather than yeah. round. Yeah. Round. Round. So bring it up here. Yeah. Round. The round. Mm -hmm. It looks awful and none of us want to do it but i think if you stick your nose up just for practice a few mm -hmm. times get this happening it's going to send it forward rather than starting it back here like that mm -hmm. kind of thing round okay. round round better mm -hmm. the rock the rock the rock rock excellent uh the ragged the ragged 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 Excellent. I... Rascal. Rascal. And let's just try rascal for fun. Rascal. Well. Yeah. Runs. Runs. Excellent. Good. What's happening? <laughs> just because I'm like, I want to be like, yeah, good, you're fine. But I know you need we need to like make it clearer. Um what we need to do is, yeah, just think more forward. Bring that lip up if you need to, and think the sound is starting here not back here. I think yeah. that's the biggest thing I would say to you. And I wouldn't worry about, you know, don't think, oh, my tongue's not doing this. I'm a little, you know, for now, it doesn't matter. I think you actually are just naturally able to do it if you don't overthink it too much and you just think about something else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so give me the whole tongue twister again um, and I'll just see if there's any other sounds I want you to work on. But um, that was good. And, and if you need to stick your t nose up and your yes. lips up, just do it, it's fine. I'll try. Round the rock, the ragged rascal runs. Lovely. One more time. Round the rock, the ragged rascal runs. Yeah, really, really nice. Um, Really, really nice. What I would say, just for fun, for everyone to know, rascal is something that uh, someone down south in England would say. Um, But I, if I was, if I hadn't lived in the north and the west of England as much, I probably would say rascal. Um, yeah. But... I now I said rascal the first time because I live up north. I think I've picked up that as a northernism. So yeah, you practice both. Rascal, he's a rascal, a little rascal, rascal dog. Um, or oh, he's a little rascal. Um, I would use the the flat a the rascal as a bit more of a jokey one. I think I would 
say maybe so again just play around no right or wrong actually on that and yet yeah, ragged so on the g and okay. after the g and the d ragged so like it's an i like an i sound mm-hmm. does that make sense so just mm-hmm. give me ragged rascal mm-hmm. ragged rascal ragged rascal ragged rascal okay yeah so ragged rascal so what i was asking for is ragged rascal so they're different but for now I, I, let's just go back and let's make them the same so ragged rascal ragged rascal okay good so i'm getting more of a on the ah sound i'm finding mm-hmm. i'm hearing more of a ah sound rugged rascal rather than mm-hmm. ragged rascal. Ragged rascal. one more ragged rascal yeah good better try and think ah rather than ah mm-hmm. so it, just give that for me now actually can you see as well how i'm lifting my face rag rag yeah and your tongue was nice and wide there i saw ragged rascal ragged rascal yeah good i think just work on the ah sound yeah. um as in cat and bat um just to get that solidly down and now i want to complicate it more so we've just done um ragged rascal now i want ragged rascal i want the heightened rp version of rascal okay so give me both ragged rascal 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 he's a rascal rascal yeah rascal rascal good on the c give me less cool Mm -hmm and a lighter C, rascal. Rascal. Better, nice, rascal. really well done. Um, Good, so again, could you hear the difference between ragged and rascal and yeah. ragged and rascal, yeah? Yeah. So yeah. again, just practice both, but I think for you work on the A's and the mm-hmm. ra- with the R's, just think forward, because as soon as you do, you got it yeah. down. It didn't yeah. seem like much effort. You weren't interfering too much, so yeah. Any questions? No, I'm good, thank you. You're welcome. Well done, Salta. Great job. And we've got, oh, I can see Maria again, but I know I haven't seen Anna yet. So, Anna, Anna, have you got your hand up or have I made that up? Yeah, I had my hand up, but I was running out of time. You would like what? No, I, I did have my hand up, but I thought we are running out of time slightly. Look, we are going to do you anyway, because we haven't <laughs> had you. And also, um, I'm fully aware we haven't done any of the phrases. Um, This is the thing, when I do slightly longer tongue twisters, I think they're really, really beneficial. But then we kind of run out of time because I've got so much to talk to you about. Um, But we will do more phrases like what I've been doing in the group chat. Have you all been watching those videos that I've been putting up like, mm-hmm. of my daily life? Um, they are, I, I think they're actually really useful and probably more useful to some extent. So next session, we'll definitely make more time for those. Um, so do watch them and keep up. But no, we'll fit you in, Anna. Don't be silly. Um, and um, if there's anyone else not been that wants to go, I can't see everyone. That would be helpful if I could see everyone. No, I think you've all been and gone. Yeah, okay, good. Um, Anna, let's just do you. Oh, and Kira, maybe. I can't see Kira's face. Anna, let's go. What do you want to do? <laughs> okay, I'm slightly torn between the two, but let's do a shorter one. A white witch watched a woolly walrus. Okay, great. Well done. One more time. A white witch watched a woolly walrus. One more time. <laughs> <clears throat> A white witch watched a woolly walrus. Yeah, really good. Um, intonation for you, I think, actually. A white yeah. witch watched a woolly walrus. Um, a white witch. So let me... Tell me about the witch, first of all. Make me... Like like you're telling a child a story. Tell... Okay. Give, it, give it to me like that. That's all I'll say. <clears throat> okay. I've got, I've got a 10-year-old, so we do stories. <laughs> a white witch watched a woolly walrus excellent good 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 and let's make it a little bit less uh happy story and actually we know this is about to be a dark twist okay in narnia yeah go on a white witch watched a woolly walrus lovely good 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 i would say be more creative with your intonation um okay. and it's a tongue twister as well and so you want to be like kind of robotic with it but um I kind of think for you, you can play around and loosen all of that off a little bit more. Um, I'm concentrating on articulation a lot, just to like nip it all. 
I know where it belongs yeah okay well do it again let's ease off of the articulation again like we were just talking about it being As a if I was just telling you yeah just tell me okay <clears throat> a white witch watched the woolly walrus one more time a white witch watched the woolly walrus again <laughs> one more time a white witch watched a woolly walrus yeah good what i'd like more please <laughs> I was like really trying to hear it. I was like, oh, yeah. what's the subtle thing I want to change because it's really good. It is really strong. Well done. Um, I just think that itch the sh sounds are too long, pretty mm -hmm. much, and I okay. want a bit more vowel before it. Um, or if a consonant follows, for example, um, oh my gosh, where's it gone? I scrolled down. Watched. I want a little bit more. I want you to get over the ch sound quicker to get to the d. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, it's just my husband came. Okay. Um, so so a, a little bit more voice before the ch sound and a little bit less stress on the ch's, the ch 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 um, sounds. A white witch watched the woolly walrus. Good. A white witch watched. A white witch watched. Excellent. And a little bit more lip rounding on the first W's. A white, a white witch. witch watched the woolly walrus. Yeah, good. I think the lip rounding shape for you is a little bit tougher. So yeah. it's just really tight. Yeah, you see, you were avoiding it then because you knew it was going to be hard work. Well yeah. done. Give me, give me the pucker. Release. Neutral. Pucker. Neutral. Everyone can do this if you want to. Yeah, and I'm not doing pucker smiling. Why? Because she's very active in the face already with the lips. The lips are active. So I want us to come to neutral. So again, pucker. Neutral. Shake it out a little bit. Yeah. You've got, a, you're one of those lovely people that naturally smiles. Yeah, I do have lines here as well. Have, <laughs> but, but, we love it. We love a laughter line. Um, but you naturally smile. So you naturally, I think, carry a bit of pocket, a bit of tension here. Mm -hmm. right, okay. Yeah, so again, like, yeah, get your little crab, maybe not now if you've got, you know, uh, don't be afraid to let it all come out. Okay. Don't be afraid to not smile. Uh, you don't have to please everyone with your British accent I'm for now. I'm just a happy person. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, see, you're just such a lovely person. Um, I want you to be a horrible person for a moment while we do this exercise. <laughs> Pocker. And release. Good. Pucker. Bruce. Yeah, so you're naturally wanting to smile, probably because I've done that in the warm-up. But for you, yeah. I want you to pucker, release, smile, release. Pucker, release, smile, release. Pucker, release, smile, release. Yeah, good. Interesting. Yeah, don't be... I think at the end of every day when you brush your teeth... Give yourself a little face massage and let all of this mm -hmm. chill out a little bit because you're carrying a lot of tension there. And I think it's stopping you making the double use sound that I want to sue a little bit right. more. And it's actually helping you stay on the ch because we need to do it. Can you see mm -hmm. when I do a ch, ch, ch yeah, I'm engaging the muscles that you carry tension in because you smile all the time. <laughs> yeah. So let's just try again. Um, <clears throat> a white witch. Super slow. Get the double use happening, please. A white which excellent and on the ch, i want you to give it more of a it makes my diaphragm work more of a less of a ch, and more of a more of a, ch. a white witch which white witch could you all hear that difference then a white witch a white witch good ch, ch, ch. Ch, ch, ch. excellent so ch, ch, ch. shorter sharper shocker better good yeah i think for you it's about getting that clipped more and getting the double that's happening, happening mm -hmm. more. so let's just try again uh just call and respond to me a white witch a white witch good uh watched watched a woolly a woolly witch witch Good. Well done. I gave you an extra witch, not a walrus. The walrus, yeah, I was a walrus at that point. Um, good. Uh, yeah, I think that's the biggest thing for you. Practice your 
I think the biggest that exercise is. you can do is the the pucker release, smile release, mm-hmm. pucker release, smile release, and and give yourself a little massage, um, just to practice not smiling so much. So you're not smiling now, and it's making me sad because you've got a beautiful smile. Uh, but but I'm trying to smack it out of you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, really, really good. Any questions? Uh, no, I'll try for the exercises and see um see the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, really good. Lovely job. Who Thank else you. hasn't been yet? If they have, I feel like Kira. Did I, I think see it was you? you? Yes. Who said that? Did someone say Kira has gone? No, I'm still here. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I was like, come on, let's do you quickly, and then, um, well, not quickly, but let me do you, and then, and then we'll wrap up for today, and we will come to the phrases next week, I promise, or next time I see you, I promise. Go on then, Kira. What do you want to do? Uh, something short in that case. Uh, no, no, whatever I'll, you want. I'll try to shoot something. Let's see how it goes. Uh, shall I shoot the shit? Great. One more time. Again. Shall I shoot the shit? One more time. I'm not changing anything. What is wrong? <laughs> I just need to hear it again and pick up okay. on it in more detail. Okay. Uh, shall I shoot the shit? Excellent. Well done. Lovely. Um, really, really good. What I'd say is a little bit like um. Oh my gosh! I've literally just spoken to her. She's gone now. Um, the the lip wrap ding. Okay. Want a little bit more of it? Shoot. 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 Yeah, excellent. Well done. Um, shall I shoot? Shall I shoot? Yeah, shall I shoot? Shall I shoot? Shoot. Lovely. Okay. Give me the whole tongue twister with the shoot happening a bit more. Shall I shoot a sheet? The sheet. Or the a sheet. sheet. What is it? The sheet. The, the sheet. sheet. Good. Get it in for me. One more time. Shall I shoot the sheet? Yeah, lovely. Shall I shall I shoot the sheet? Yeah, and if anything now, again, similar actually <laughs> to Anna just now, um the shizzes. The shizzes, it's so the not what? correct. <laughs> but the the sh sound that we're making, oh, okay. shall I shoot? We can afford to sh- shorten it, which I didn't do when I said it, but shorten it a little bit more so it's a bit more clipped. Shall I shoot the sheet? Shall I shoot the sheet? Good. That was a good exercise to get it shorter. So now let's just say it in your normal British accent now. Shall I shoot the sheet? Shall I shoot the sheet? Good. Well done. Shoot. With the shoot sound as well, rather than shoot, let's go shoot. shoot. This is active and it's shoot. kind of staying parallel rather than shoot. Just then it went down a little bit more. So again, shall I shoot the sheet? Shall I shoot the shit one more time shall i shoot the shit excellent well done sheet now yeah, um i'm getting i'm getting a, we're getting a little shoot. Shoot. i know i know e. i always yeah say e. so <laughs> so um well, i know there's some kids on the call sorry um <laughs> say it's a different word say it means something else um yeah sheet sheet uh just just say it one more time for me sheet shall i shoot the sheet Shall I shoot the sheet? Yeah, it's better when you just get this happening. Or... Yeah, but but I'm, I'm, I cannot understand whether I should smile or shall. I, I shouldn't. It, it just, yeah. <clears throat> As in you, you're yeah. not sure whether you should or you shouldn't. With, with the sheet, uh, I mean, sometimes I think that I'm just like making it longer and smiling a lot. So yeah. I'm not sure <clears throat> that I'm doing it right. Okay. Uh, yeah, good point. Good question. Good observation. Sh- shall I shoot the sheet? As in, like other words as well, not just in this tongue twister. You mean? Uh, no, it's it's a y- y- usual fleece sound. This is my problem. Yeah, I know. Yeah, interesting. So first of all, it's not a problem. It's just something you're learning to to do differently again to how you have done all this time. So again, the minute we start going, oh, that's my problem. I suck at this thing. We're just gonna get into a ball of horrible sadness about it. We don't need to do that. She, it's a good e e. It's like fun. The e, it's like an easy sound. It's easy. In fact, let's use that sound. Just go. It's easy. Easy. It's easy. Easy. Easy, easy peasy. Easy peasy. See, good. You, you, I'm telling you, it's easy peasy, and you're going easy peasy. You're I'm just showing me it's not easy peasy. <laughs> Imagine it is easy peasy and lemon squeezy for me. And let's casual it all up. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Breezy. 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 You're overthinking it. Yeah, I think so. (laughs) Stop it. (laughs) 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Um, it's breezy today. It's breezy today. And let's have an attitude of it's a positive thing that it's breezy today because we've had two weeks of, of you know, desert, no wind, no breeze. Now we've got a lovely breeze on that lovely holiday. Just what we want. Let's go. It's so breezy. It's so breezy. Yeah, it's easy. 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 Tell me it's easy. Stop it's showing not me not. that it's not because <laughs> you're thinking it's not. Let's do a bit of acting. Tell me how easy this thing is. Easy. Have you ever done anything that's easy? Uh, not really. <laughs> My life is very hard. <laughs> Everything is a challenge. Uh, no, it's good. Let's imagine you have, though. Let's imagine that your life is like the easiest it's ever been right now. And everything is coming up roses and everything is good. It's, it's easy. easy. It's easy. Brilliant. Can you all sit immediately? Kira just went, it's easy. Yeah. And but... it was fine. <laughs> it was easy. So good. <laughs> all right, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't apologize. <laughs> Cracking me up. I love it. Um, so let's go. It's easy breezy. Easy breezy. Breezy with a Z. Breezy. 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 Yeah, easy breezy. Easy breezy. Yeah, the minute good. The minute you go up here, it's a little thing you're doing with your just body language. I can see. The minute you come up here, you get in your head about it. Because you're look you're literally like almost looking in your brain for the answers. You don't need to do that. I want you to start knowing that you've got the answers, you've got it, you know what you're doing. You just need to relax about it a bit more, Kira, and not overthink it. Um, you just did it fine. Um, let's just come back to sheet. Um the sheep was on the sheet. The sheep was on the sheet. Brilliant. The sheep was on the sheet. The sheep was on the sheet. Look at my eyes, not up upstairs. <laughs> give it, give it to me. <laughs> okay the sheep was on the sheet brilliant yeah the minute you overthink it you interfere and you don't need to i'll try not don't apologize (laughs) do or do not there is no try you can do (laughs) (laughs) just think if you're finding it different for you a note for you and indeed for everyone but mostly you at this point um if you're finding it hard just go fudge it i say fudge when i want to say the other f u word okay fudge it (laughs) screw it who cares it doesn't matter. It's just talking. We, we do it effortlessly all the time. Just take that pressure off yourself. It doesn't matter. It's fun. The minute we make it fun again, we find it. Okay. So again, just go, if I'm, if you get in your head, it's easy. It's chill. I'll chill out. Then the words will chill out and everything will be fine. Okay. 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 Thank you. <laughs> no more notes for you. Just believe in yourself, darling. Um, <laughs> any questions? No, not really. Thank you very much. Good. You're very welcome. Everyone has been, I believe, unless I have missed someone. Um, But let's wrap up there. Again, like I said, I know we didn't do the phrases, but what I have done is sent you the phrases, right? So they're all in the group chat. If you're not in the right group or whatnot, speak to Lilo. She'll sort all that out. Um, But you've got the phrase, or at least they're not the phrases, but I've given you like pinpoints, uh, bullet points of what I talked about in the chat. Is this making sense? I feel like my brain's just fallen out of my head. Um, so again, feeling under the weather, um, talking about how miserable it is outside. Like just have a little play around and like find and rewatch those videos I've put up on the chat. I get worried that they're annoying all of you. Um, but I hope I hope they're okay, good. Um, yeah, Lila was like, Can you send a message like every day? And I was like, okay, I don't want to get on anyone's nerves, but okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, just have a little re-listen and just hear how like. I, I do make mistakes in normal language and I do reiterate myself and like just the little phrases that I'm saying, even just now, I think I said coming up roses. That's another common phrase that we use um, and just play around with them for yourself, put them into your own words and get used to saying those sorts of things. And I think you do like these sorts of things with James as well and Lilo as you go, but just really practice putting it into practice. Um, alongside all of this tongue twister stuff that you're doing, but really well done. Um, lovely work, Lisa. Did we go earlier? Why haven't you gone yet? It's fine. It's fine. I'm feeling very anxious about speaking today. Okay, so that's fine, fine then. If you're sure, you can send me a private message if you want later. Um, but really good job for being on this whole time, everyone. I'm very proud of all of you. You've done an amazing job. And I will see you next time. Have a lovely rest of your weekend. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> good job. Uh, lovely. Good.